Behavioural conditioning is a process that involves learning through interaction with the environment. It explains how behaviours are influenced by rewards, punishments and other consequences. Behavioural conditioning is based on the idea that certain actions can be encouraged or discouraged depending on what follows them. This form of learning is used to shape behaviours in people and animals, often by pairing an action with a specific outcome. For example, when someone receives praise for a good deed, they're more likely to repeat that behaviour. Behavioural conditioning plays a key role in education, parenting and even therapy, helping individuals develop new habits or unlearn undesirable ones. The origins of behavioural conditioning can be traced back to the early 20th century. One of the most well-known contributors to this field is Ivan Pavlov, a Russian scientist who studied classical conditioning. Pavlov's experiments with dogs demonstrated how a neutral stimulus, like the sound of a bell, could become associated with food, leading the dogs to salivate when they heard the bell, even if no food was present. Another important figure is B.F. Skinner, who developed the concept of operant conditioning. Skinner's work focused on how behaviour is shaped by rewards and punishments, showing that positive reinforcement can encourage desirable behaviours, while negative consequences can reduce unwanted actions. An example of classical conditioning is seen in Pavlov's famous experiment with dogs. Initially, the dogs would salivate only when food was presented. However, by repeatedly pairing the sound of a bell with the presentation of food, Pavlov conditioned the dogs to salivate when they heard the bell, even if no food was present. This demonstrates how an association between a neutral stimulus and a meaningful one can influence behaviour. Another example involves operant conditioning, such as using rewards to encourage good behaviour in a classroom. A teacher might give a student a sticker or praise when they complete their homework on time. Over time, the student learns that completing homework leads to positive outcomes, making them more likely to repeat this behaviour. Similarly, if a student talks out of turn and receives a warning, they may be less likely to repeat that behaviour in the future. One strength of behavioural conditioning is its practical application. It can be used effectively in many areas, including education, parenting and animal training. For example, teachers can use positive reinforcement to motivate students to participate in class, while parents can encourage good habits in children by offering rewards for completing chores. This approach makes it easy to influence behaviours in predictable ways. Another strength is its scientific basis. Behavioural conditioning relies on observable actions and measurable outcomes, which means its principles can be tested and studied. This makes it a reliable method for understanding and modifying behaviour as shown by numerous experiments in psychology. Its clear guidelines allow for consistent results, making it a widely used tool in behaviour management and therapy. One weakness of behavioural conditioning is that it often focuses only on external behaviour without addressing underlying thoughts or emotions. While it can change how someone acts, it may not resolve deeper issues such as why the behaviour occurs in the first place. For example, a child who acts out in class might stop the behaviour if punished, but may still struggle with the emotions causing the disruption. Another weakness is that it can sometimes create dependency on rewards. If a person or animal is conditioned to behave a certain way only because of positive reinforcement, they might stop the behaviour when the rewards are removed. For instance, if a child cleans their room only because they receive a treat, they may not continue to do so when the treats stop. This reliance on external motivation can limit long-term success.